Welcome back to the Bird's Nest. Like, comment, subscribe. You're tuning into the Flyers. Mr. Brennan, West Philly's finest. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment. We got to touch upon this cowboy situation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bird's Nest. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, it is MLK Day, so I'm off. Hopefully, this is one of the days where you are giving back to the community, doing things of uh, good character, charitable deeds, or at least reflecting upon good that you wish you could do. Now, to touch upon these freaking Eagles. The Eagles have been knocked out of the playoffs. Nobody likes it. It is what it is. We kind of foresaw this. We faced the GOAT. It's okay. Now, the situation is this. The Dallas Cowboys got knocked out yesterday, too. Now, these Cowboys are not supposed to be knocked out in the first round. The Cowboys were supposedly the cream of the crap of the NFC. They are the NFC East champions. They did exactly what we did. They got into the game, into the playoff tournament, and got bounced out in round one. Hmm. Hmm. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see. Am I correct upon, okay, so the Dallas Cowboys had arguably a top 10 offense, right? Some would say top five at different parts of the year. They have, in my opinion, the best uh, tandem of wide receivers, arguably in the league. You could argue Cincinnati, uh, who else could you say? I don't. I, I don't think there's many teams that have three great wide receivers who could go elsewhere and potentially be number ones. All three of them. We're talking about C.D. Lamb. We're talking about uh, who got all of that money. What's his name? What's his name? Um, opposite of C.D. Lamb. Uh, anyway, then you got Cedric Wilson. So, these wide receivers are supposedly the creme de la creme. They have a top passing offense, as we saw, right? Uh, they should be putting up points by galore. They, they were averaging like 30 or something. And they were definitely averaging like 25 points per game for the last two seasons, right? This was the season of turnaround for them. The season of rebuilding the defense to match the offense so now they could be Super Bowl contenders. What happened? Oh, man, Trayvon Diggs in his second year flowered and blossomed and became the greatest interception machine that the Cowboys have ever had with 11 interceptions this year. Though he gave up a million freaking yards. He was like... Asante Samuel 2.0. The Eagles are familiar with that, right? Either he's going to get burnt or he's going to make a spectacular play. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what else? The guy Brown on defense was great. Micah Parsons, a revelation. They're rookie, right? Pass rusher, edge rusher, linebacker, Mr. Do-It-All, right? Monster, right? Gregory came back. They had a great pass rush, right? You still got... Uh, uh, Van, whatever his name is, and the rest of the guys in the linebacker court, right? Now you got Keanu Neal, right? Formerly of the Falcons, right? So they have a formidable defense. Oh, by the way, they got Dan Quinn, defensive coordinator who revitalized himself. Congratulations with the Cowboys by making them a top threat defensively. Helping that offense and helping them win games. How many games did they win? Oh, man. And then... They had the last game of the season against my Eagles. And what happened? We set our starters to kind of get rested up for the playoffs, to get ready for the big tournament of which we weren't supposed to be in in the first place. What do they do? They try to stop our freaking heads in and run up the score so they can make themselves feel better and try to have some continuity and consistency and, uh, you know, camaraderie going into the tournament. What did that do for them? 
They had a home playoff game against the San Francisco 49ers, led by Jimmy Garoppolo. What happened? Mitchell ran the ball up and down a freaking throat. No name. No pro bowler. Six-round draft pick. Debo Samuels ran crazy on y'all. Io can't even do nothing. It was just Debo and Jimmy Garoppolo looked like Tom Brady 2.0 picking y'all off. Picking y'all apart. What happened? Hmm? What, what, what was all of this gumption? All of this hoorah? Where's that energy? Where's those vibes from earlier this year? Hmm? Eagles are trash. It's Cowboys year. We going to the bowl this year. That's all I was hearing this year. What happened to that? Y'all was going to the Super Bowl. That's what y'all said. Eagles is trash. Hurts is trash. We are trash. Look at y'all. We started off two and five. Oh, y'all trash. We blew y'all out. We swept y'all. We got the brooms out. Eagles went to the playoffs. Weren't supposed to. And they are rebuilding. And they lost in the first round. The Cowboys are supposed to be Super Bowl contenders. They could have at least made it to the NFC Championship, right? Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't even make it to the divisional round, which is one win in the playoffs and you get to the divisional round. Then it's the championship for the NFC or AFC. So you couldn't even make it to the divisional round? With all of these weapons, all of these stars, all of this hoopla, all of this attention and hype, you faggots couldn't even make it to the game. One and done with all of that? You know what the Eagles do with less? Oh, I'm sorry. We won the Super Bowl with less. We had, we could say, argue, we had one star wide receiver, Alshon Jeffrey. A couple good, you know, uh, Aguilar did good his year, that one year, right? What else we had? Uh, Tight end, superstar, you can say superstar tight end, Zach Ertz at the time, right? Uh, backup quarterback in Nick Foles. All right, we had a top offensive line. Y'all got that right now. Uh, defense was top 10. Y'all supposed to have that right now, right? We was, lead, we, we was in like top five in takeaways and all that with Jenkins and the boys, right? Right, okay, y'all got that. Like, so, but y'all got more stars, more pro bowlers, more accolades. Y'all paying people $120 million and all that. Y'all got Ezekiel Elliott. Best running back in the game. We ain't had that. We had a good running offense, though. We did. You were Garrett Blunt, one two punch, you know what I'm saying, with JJ. Okay. And we went to the Super Bowl. Was JJ or LeGarrett Blunt ever be ever been as uh proverbial or hyped as Ezekiel Elliott? Top rusher in the league and all of that? No. Neither one of them. LeGarrette Blunt was never the top rusher, the top act. Neither was J.H.J. They were just good, above average running backs. Not Ezekiel Elliott, a superstar, right? Not Dak Prescott, the superstar quarterback. We didn't have a superstar quarterback when we won the Super Bowl. We had a rising star in Carson Wentz who went down and everybody said we didn't have a chance, but yet... Y'all got bounced in the first round. Good job, Cowboys. You continue to suck and you always will. We bouncing back. See you next year. By the way, next video coming will be the, the uh, we're going to start this draft process, right? We're going to get into it because we're going to get caught up to the Cowboys by next year. While the Cowboys still got all these superstars and do nothing, we're going to be back next year in the playoffs. I don't know about y'all.